Hey guys, Shane here from Vukadeg 3D Printing. Today I'm going to show you how to make a filament temperature tower test in Simplify 3D. Welcome back guys. As I said, we're going to make a temperature tower test in Simplify 3D. Now what this is used for is anytime you get a new roll of filament, and you're not sure what temperature to print it out, you should do this quick, simple test. It uses virtually no filament whatsoever. It is a very quick and easy test to do, and that way you can find out what is the best temperature to print your filament at. So you're gonna head over to Thingiverse and download a temperature calibration tower. There are a ton of them out there, so you just need to pick whichever one you like the most. I really liked this one, and there was a problem with the file, so I just ran it through a quick uh, 3D Builder fix, and it popped right out, and it worked great. So if you want to do this one, link in the description, but this will work for pretty much any one of the calibration towers out there, but you have to know what the settings are for it. Now for this temperature tower, you're going to print at a 0 0.2 millimeter layer height. You're going to have one perimeter, 0% infill, 0 top and 0 bottom layers, and you're going to change the temperature every 50 layers. As you can see also here at the bottom of it, I also added a brim. That's just in order to keep a little more adhesion to the bed, just to help out. You don't want it to topple over. So that just helps out just a little bit. So go ahead and download this and we will pull it into Simplify 3D. There it goes, open it up. It's off screen, you can't see that. There it is. Now this is on my Monoprice Select Mini, which is the profile that I have selected right now. You can do this with any printer, really doesn't matter. It's all the same, it's just we're using Simplify 3D to do this. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and edit our process here and we're gonna do this in PLA. We can take info percentage all the way down to nothing. Our layer heights, we gotta get this down to zero. Bottom zero, outline is one, and this is gonna be printed in vase mode. So we're gonna click the single outline corkscrew printing mode. All right, check additions, and this is where we're gonna add our brim. So we need to take the offset all the way down to zero. That means it's gonna to touch the bottom of our print, and we're gonna do five lines around it. You can do more if you want, but for this small print, five is more than enough. And we only need one layer's worth because that's just a little more adhesion. Again, this usually will stick, but this is great just to help out. Make sure infill is at zero, no support, temperature. All right, here's the key thing. So we have a heated bed on this printer. All my printers have heated beds. So this is going to be 60 degrees centigrade for PLA. Now here for the extruder, if we look here, you can see that it starts at 220 at the bottom and it goes all the way up to 180. So we know that we have 50 layers in each one of these sections that we have to account for. Now, actually, before we do that, we can go ahead and do pair to print real quick. And we can see down here at the bottom left, let me get that back up here, 451 layers. So now we know that we start at two technically and count up 50. So one doesn't really count there. So let's go back here in the process, temperature. All right, so layer one is gonna be 220. Then we're gonna add a set point. This is gonna be layer 51. That's 50 more than one. And this is gonna be 215. And we continue to do that. 101, 210. And slowly, as our print gets taller, the temperature will go down. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and just add the rest of these in real quick because it doesn't take too terribly long to do all this. Okay, and there we have them all. So we just go through here and change. Oh, that's right. Now clearly this temperature tower is made for PLA. There are other ones out there or you can create your own really quick in you know, Fusion 360 or Thinkercad, just add the numbers to the front. So if you wanna make one for PETG, one for ABS, one for TPU, one for PLA, one for wood filament, whatever you wanna do, you can make it, you can scale this any way you want. You only have it be four tall or 10 tall, however tall you want. Just figure out how many layers you need for each one of the temperatures and go from there. Very easy to create. All right, cooling, we got fan 100% as always, and this my default printing on the Mini is 50 millimeters a second. One of the things there that does come into effect is the speed override. So it goes anything below 15 seconds for a layer, I have my printer go down to 20%. We probably can just make this 50%. That wouldn't be too bad at all. You could even go faster than that. You'd probably go up to 60%. It would be fine, but 50 on the Monoprice Select Mini will be good. And we'll hit okay on that. And now, prepare to print. Okay, so now if we look, there's zero. So if we get here to layer 51, all right, and we zoom in, 
we're going to see here, when we go to 52, it starts going the other way. 50, 51, and see how it's going back. And it goes all the way up until we get up to 101. And it's going to do the exact same thing. And this is just so you can be sure that where you're changing your temperatures are going to be the same. You want to be sure of that because otherwise the test doesn't really work out that well. So there's 100, 101, going 102, going back out, up to the next one. See? Very nice and easy to do. Hit play and see a little animation for that. Now, as I said before, this doesn't take long. So it's going to take an hour because this prints so slow. Again, you can raise that minimum uh, printing speed when cooling because it's under 15 seconds. You can raise that. You can do that at 0% if you want it, or 100%, I should say. And that way it prints at full speed the entire time. That's your call. It uses 1.4 millimeters of filament. That is absolutely nothing. That's not even a full arm's width for most people. At one hour, four grams of plastic. And it's going to cost nine cents to do this out of your giant roll. And I forget what my roll price is set to for this printer. Um, some of them are set properly. Yeah, so it'd be $20 a kilogram. It's going to say it's going to cost us nine cents to do a test. I think that's a pretty good cost ratio to what temperature you're actually printing this at and to test it out beforehand. And that's great to know before you do any big prints because if your temperature ends up being too low, it's going to skip. You're going to have missed layers. It's just going to be bad. So this is a test that I highly recommend everyone does anytime they're going to get a new roll of filament and not sure what temperature to print it at. All right, so once you've got finished it, you're going to have a print that looks somewhere like this. So it comes out really, really nice. Again, you can see the divots on the side here. The back side, I was testing jerk actually on this one here. But when you look at it, it actually looks really, really nice all the way around. You can't really tell what the difference is. So what a key thing to do is if you hold it up and you look down the line, it's really hard for me to focus on this. When you look down the edge of it, you will see how sharp or how not sharp the corners are. And that has to do with a lot of the temperature because the hotter the temperature, the more viscous, the higher the viscosity, I guess you'd call it, of the filament is because it oozes very easily. It flows very easily. When it's cooler, it's a little harder to flow and you get much more precise turns with a lower setting. So at 220, my corners here are a little bit rounded. But up here at 185, it's pretty doggone sharp. Every one of the corners is really sharp. So again, you can see all the numbers really, really easily, and it looks great. This is a great way to test all of your filaments when you get a new roll, is to just run this quick test and just start printing. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I really hope this helps you understand how to do a temperature tower test in Simplify 3D. I hope to do this with other slicers later. I'm unsure what other ones you're capable of, but I just know that it's very easy to do here in Simplify 3D. If you guys like this video, if you felt that it helped you out and helped you understand Simplify 3 just a little bit more, go ahead and hit that like button. If you want to know what's going on with me, make sure you subscribe down below. Hit that bell icon. That way you know anytime I upload new content, you'll be one of the first ones to know. If you want to help me out with some money, go ahead and donate to me via Patreon. If you want to help me out without spending your money, down below is going to be some affiliate links. Update your bookmarks. Go ahead and use those. On the right side, there's going to be lots of links over there for you to watch. So please check out some other content. And until next time, guys, happy printing.